Hello everyone, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, it's currently raining outside, so no astrophotography for a couple of days. And I decided to do some research regarding the dust re imaging sensor, the Sony IMX678 Starvis. And I was very curious about the performance of this sensor on deep sky astrophotography. And since I don't have yet a DOF3, in my hands to be able to test it in deep sky seeing some images captured with the sensor even with uh, another camera can give us some ideas on how the sensor will perform we are on the dwarf lab page and we can see here the sensor for the door 3 the mx678 star v2 however we cannot find too many information here this sensor is mostly used in planetary cameras and if you search IMX678, you can find more planetary cameras using this sensor, like the TubeTech Astro G3M678C, where you can also find more information about the sensor. Also, we found ASI678MC, and here we also have information about the sensor and the camera, like the sensor size, 4K resolution, 12-bit ADC, pixel size, 2 microns, read noise so we have a low read noise sensor full well 11,270 electrons that is enough for uh, this sensor size and the short exposures not to oversaturate the stars we have quantum efficiency of 83 percent this means the sensor will be able to convert 83 percent from the photons that it receives into electrons so here we could find more information about the sensor however how we can find also images captured with this sensor simple by searching this uh, camera on Google and you search SI678MC Astrobin and clicking on it you'll be able to see this page where we will be able to see images captured with this sensor even if they are taken with a um, planetary camera and different telescopes we can uh, see more about the images and image quality that this sensor can uh, give us for uh, astrophotography and here we have a lot of uh, planetary images lunar we have also galaxies nebulas so a lot of images that you can go and see more pictures captured with this sensor what i think is important also to find images captured with similar optics like a similar aperture and focal length and here i managed to find a few images first is the ngc 7822 captured by alfond the road photographer i wanted to to show this image as an example on the videos to see what kind of images we can expect from uh, similar optics like similar uh, focal length and aperture the images were captured with ASCAR FMA 180 it's a 40 millimeters aperture telescope and 180 millimeters focal length is really close with the door 3 aperture and focal length door 3 will have 35 and 150 millimeters so just a little bit lower than this telescope that can give us an idea about the images that we could obtain with the door 3. i'm not sure about the integration time we do have a nice image with ngc 7822 now let's see also the orion nebula captured by steve duke thank you for sharing this image steve and now we can see the sensor the imx 678 used with a uh, planetary camera ZWASI678 on the Orion Nebula and let's zoom in a little bit it's a really nice image I believe this was taken with an H-alpha filter this image because we do not see so much uh, blues on the Running Man Nebula but look a very nice image with the Orion here again I'm not sure about the integration time and we have another image with the Orion Nebula where we have ZWO Doe band filter, same telescope, and this image was 
captured by Kevin Dunn. And here in this image, we have only, I believe, 10 minutes integration. So we have short integration time. We can also zoom in. And this is the image in 10 minutes. And these are the two images that I found with Dora and Nebula. And we have NGC 7822 captured with the same sensor, similar focal length and similar aperture like the door 3. And if you search more images, now we can find much more, but with uh, different telescopes, larger apertures, longer focal length. So we can see here a lot of images captured with this sensor and camera with short exposures probably like lucky imaging. Another one with the Orion Nebula close up. This is with a 10 inch telescope. Even if they are not the same optics and we don't have the same uh, aperture and focal length, we can still get some ideas of what is the quality that we could obtain with the IMX 678 Starvis 2 sensor. So let's see a few more examples. This is with a Celestron C9 telescope. Another C925 telescope. Look. NGC 488, so nice, here. A lot of images you can find here on Astrobin. With this sensor, look, a beautiful capture of Messier 33. Another one, very, very nice editing. And look, the Dumble Nebula, so nice, right? So looking on these images, what do you think? about the IMAX 678 sensor. Look, this is Messier 106. This is a really, really nice result. And we have the Ring Nebula and Messier 64 here. Only 60 minutes integration with the same sensor, but using the ASI 678 MC camera. I think even if we don't have the Dwarf 3 yet, I believe seeing images captured with the same sensor, even with a, a different camera, it can help give us an idea about how this sensor will perform. What do you think? Please leave me in the comments below. What do you think about this sensor and how good it will work with the DOR3 at 150 millimeters focal length? Also, affiliate links with the DOR3 are available in the description if you want to buy the DOR3, then you can use it and help also the channel out. Well, this is all for tonight. I think the rain stopped, but you can see it's very cloudy. So no astrophotography for the moment. I hope I'll get the door three soon and I'll be able to test it soon on deep sky astrophotography. We already have the images with the Milky Way that I've processed. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. And if you want to support the channel more, consider also checking the channel membership out where you'll be able to download my astrophotography data. Thanks for watching and clear sky.